There we go. My tabs are not important. Anyhow, we... I've created this single use tier list, which you can unfortunately not use. And I will be ranking all eight of the Undertale Test Place Reborn characters. Including SS Care, Jebel, Asriel, Asgore, Undyne, uh, wait, no, come back. Sands, uh, Normal Kyra, and actually, let's get check here and normal frisk let's get started with asgore asgore is a tricky one it's kind of he has some moves that don't really require much effort but some of his moves do require a little bit of effort so i think b tier uh, i'm gonna put him high b tier even though she's He's the first one, so it doesn't count, but if I ever put any other things in B tier, I think I'd put them below Asgore, because Asgore's just that good. I mean, like, he's B or A tier. He's not S tier, I'll tell you that. He had the really high B tier or really low A tier, because some of his attacks are just really annoying. He also has a butt-ton of health, but, you know... Sometimes he does get bodied. It really just depends on how good you are. Because it really... Actually, you know what? I'm going to put him in A tier. Maybe just because of struggle against says Or, oh yeah, I should probably also state that this is somewhat my opinion. I will try to be as unbiased as possible. But, you know, I haven't played all of these characters. Story Shift Kara. Mm, this is an interesting one. Now, remember, this is for Undertale Test Place Reborn. And in Undertale Test Place Reborn, I find Kara's kind of mid. Like, or Story Shift Kara, at least. Uh, ever since she re Maybe it's just because players haven't had enough time. I feel like a lot of the Story Shift Kara's I go up against are just kind of... Maybe they're just bad? I don't know. I don't really run to a lot of good Story Shift Kara's. It's C tier. Now, my boy, Sans. I play as Sans almost every time. So, no, this is going to be a little bit biased. But I'm going to try and make it not as biased. Uh, eh. Yeah, sure. I'll put him below Asgore on A tier. Because Sans is the king of range. He can hit you from, like, so far away. More far farther away than any other character, easily. Um, but... You know, his combos are very samey. I feel like I'm using some of the same combos over and over. It's, he doesn't, he's not that much of a gimmicky character. He's very easy to learn. But once you, you know, get pretty good at him, that's kind of skill stealing. You can't, you can't be as good with Sans as you can with some other characters. But because he's so easy to learn and is still somewhat decent, like I've seen people with thousands of kills play as Sans before and absolutely dunk on me, I'm putting him in A tier because of that. Now, Undyne, uh, not Story Shift, um, Glitch Tail Undyne actually. Um, I'm gonna put him. In okay, there we go, B tier. Because first off, we need somebody in B tier. And secondly, I don't know. She's not really great. She's better than Story Shift Care, but she's not as good as like Asgore or something. So I really don't know how to feel. She does have two phases though, which is, you know, more than I can say for Asgore or Sans, which are higher. But her two phases are kind of just it's undying the undying but undying the undying just feels like a buffed version of undying nothing really too new which i guess we will be seeing that a lot as real as real freaking dreamer does it deserve s tier does it does it deserve s tier you screw it S tier baby, but low S tier. 
Asriel is interesting because they have some attacks that are ridiculously hard to dodge. Some attacks that are downright useless. But like, overall, they have three phases and Asriel's are ridiculous. Like, first, I find myself half health by the time Asriel goes into his second phase, the God of Hyperdeath, because he's Asriel's just that good. Like, a good Asriel player will beat a good Sans player every single time. Because, you know, Asriel just has so much more potential. He's a lot harder to learn, but he has so much potential that he deserves S tier. Kara, or Chara or Kara, but I'm going to be calling him Kara because reasons. Now, Kara is really good. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to put him above Asgore because I feel like Asriel might still beat them. Or should I put him above Asriel? I think I'm going to just leave them above Asgore. Now, Kara is interesting because... She used to be the best character in the game. Back when Frisk only had one phase, uh, not two, and Kara had, like, every single soul thing had its own page. It was ridiculous. You could not survive against Kara because Kara's by far the most gimmicky character to ever exist. And I think even now, even with Story Shift Kara, Nazgore, and Jevil, and everybody else, that version of Kara was the most gimmicky version. And because of that, they were, they were really hard to play. But if you could play them well, they were by far the best character in the game. It wasn't even close. They reduced all the soul's abilities to just one page, which is super nice, except for hate and determination. But still, it's very nice to have things be in one page because it makes it so much similar without taking away too much from Kara. So for that, I'm going to put them in A tier because not as good as they used to be, but they're still really, really good. They have some wicked combos and not to mention, like, whatchamacallit, their, H, their HP is good. They got two phases. They also have some undodgeable attacks. You know what? After rethinking... I think instead of putting SS Carrot in B tier or in low in C tier, I'm not gonna put him in D tier. I'm gonna put him behind Undyne in B tier. Jevil. Hmm. I have no idea where to put Jevil. Genuinely no idea. That's a tough one. I think Jevil. Putting Jevil. I think below care is good. But, you know, yeah, I'm gonna I'm 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 stick with that. Because Jevil has some wicked combo game. Like, I once went up against a Jevil, and he did, like, I was Sans, and he did, like, a, what, uh, 47 damage combo with to Sans, which is ridiculous, because Sans has the highest defense of any character in the game. To compensate for his only having one phase and you know stuff um but i don't jevil is also very gimmicky i've also never played as jevil so that's quite biased but i just don't know jevil's pretty good but he can also get kind of bodied like i said it the skill of the player is much more important than any than the skill of these things or the the actual characters because at the end of the day a character with or a player with a hundred kills won't beat a character a player with a thousand kills like almost no matter what character they're playing and now frisk i i, I don't mean to say anything 
instant S tier. This version of Frisk, Frisk, listen, Frisk was balanced with the other characters when she had a single phase. They gave her a second phase. It makes Frisk the undisputed best character in the game. They can do everything Care can do, but better. Their combo game is like Jevils, but better. Like I said, they have two phases. They're the only character other than Kara that can heal themselves, which, like, no other character can do, which is already kind of ridiculous. Frisk can switch their weapon mid-battle, which, like I said, allows for some crazy combos. Absolutely ridiculous. We're talking damages, like, 60 or higher to Sans, or... And I reckon 80 or higher to every other character. Or like any other character. It's ridiculous between the healing and the two phases and the. What? And. Like, even other players agree that Frisk. That challenging a Frisk is a quote unquote risky move. Because Frisk is just that strong. I think that's actually going to wrap it up. Uh, so yeah, this is my tier list on characters in Undertale Test Place Reborn. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. For all, for all of you who play Sans, because, you know, you know, he's Sans. I'm sorry I had to do you this way. Remember, these characters are kind of close. Like, a Frisk can definitely lose to a story shift Kara if they don't play well enough. They can definitely lose. But if they're the same skill, sorry Kara, but things ain't looking good for you. Uh, okay, I guess that's in the meantime, all y'all have a wonderful day, and goodbye.